Six things no man should wear on a first date. You don't get a second chance at a first impression, especially when it comes to love. From slogan t-shirts to your work suit, here's what not to wear on a first date. First dates are always going to be a stressful experience, you're jacked up on the could be lethal combination of adrenaline, the pressure to be charming and the hope of getting laid, with the added danger of getting wired on coffee or drunk on alcohol. So the last thing you need is extra worry about the sort of style slip up that'll have your date openly feigning the skeets just to escape. First impressions matter, even post Tinder, which is why we've pulled together a definitive list of what not to wear. Swipe left on all of them. A hilarious t-shirt. If you're the kind of guy that buys his basics at a tourist trap in central London, you need to stop right now. Any slogan or image emblazoned across your chest that has to be justified with the words, chill out, it's just banter, in it, is going to be a turn off. This rule is amplified when the t-shirt in question is even vaguely misogynist or creepy, so save your FBI, female body inspector and sex instructor, first lesson free designs for painting the house or, you know, when you're short of Kindle for a bonfire. In fact. We're going to say that any kind of slogan t-shirt should be off limits, even that one that says pick flowers, not fights. In short, it's you who should be hilarious, not your shirt. A guy's main name on a first date is to not scare, or offend, his date away from the get-go. Instead of a slogan t-shirt or anything with a bright eye-watering print, opt for a shirt in a subtle color such as white or sky blue, it's the perfect in-between to avoid dressing too smart or too casual. Gordon Richardson, Topman Creative Director A bare ankle Controversial, perhaps, but mankles, a marmite in the dating world. So it's best to err on the side of caution and go all Victorian by covering them up for an initial meet. An ankle sand sock is likely to conjure up one of two distinct images of what lies beneath, that of the deeply divisive trainer sock, a piece of clothing that, yes, might be essential, but which can never be described as sexy. Alternatively, your date might assume that your, shock horror, actually sockless. Given that it's date number one and they have no idea how thorough your hygiene regime is, it could be taken as an indicator of bongy toes. It's never good for your date to get even a whiff of the idea that your feet might smell. Save that flash of lateral malleolus for those future dates that, now you've listened to us, are a lot more likely to happen. This depends on your shoe of choice. If you're a daffer chap in a pair of brogues, go with a bright flash of sock. If in a pair of trainers, tube socks are your friend. Another tip for gents of a shorter stature, wear socks that are the same color as your trousers. This will give the illusion of a longer leg and will improve your overall silhouette. Giles Farnham, head of the River Island Style Studio. Your work suit. While a date can easily fill you with the same crippling levels of anxiety as a job interview, just remember it isn't one. The whole experience should be fun and, if possible, you should feel, or at least appear to be, relaxed rather than sitting fiddling with the tie you've been knotted into since 9am. Of course, if it's a weekday date, going home from work to change beforehand is not always an option. To avoid making your date feel underdressed, or making yourself appear a bit of a stiff, show some savvy and make a few sartorial switches desk side. You can completely change the perception of your outfit with a few small changes. A smart t-shirt or a lightweight brunette knit, to replace a shirt and tie, and a sharp pair of trainers can be game changers. Designer Charlie Casely Hayford Political merchandise 
unless you're an actual card-carrying member of a political party and steadfast in your conviction of never dating anyone with opposing views, it's best to bin the badge and leave the tote bag at the door. As every good dinner party host knows, politics and religion are two subjects that should never be discussed at the table. The same applies for dates. There are few things as off-putting as someone inflicting their political opinions on you. Besides, you don't want to immediately discount your date just because they happen to like Theresa May's shoes. Things that might be important when moving in together or popping out kids, like your stance on private education, are not first date fodder, so don't even tempt yourself with a sartorial segue into conversations of that type. A statement bag is a much safer conversation piece. Avoid the messenger satchel, as it can look a little 2006 IT technician. Instead, try a slick document holder with a smarter outfit or a small backpack for something more casual. Giles Farnham, head of the River Island Style Studio. Too much aftershave. We've all seen those TV ads featuring a man emerging from an asthma-inducing mist of body spray to be greeted by a hundred objects of desire. Who doesn't want to believe that a heavy spritz of scent can have that effect? However, too much is more likely to do the opposite and have your date coughing and spluttering as they run for the hills. Your date night grooming should be subtle. Overdoing it on the fragrance front also subconsciously says, I couldn't be bothered to shower, so I'm masking my mask. As we said earlier, don't give them the chance to question your personal hygiene. After all, a first date is the time that you're supposed to at least pretend that you're a nice gentlemanly type. You want your date to lean closer and catch a whisper of your fragrance, not sit the breathing through their mouth throughout. Choose a scent that you feel comfortable in and apply a spritz to either each wrist or bicep and one in the dip of each collarbone. British perfumer Roger Dove Wooden accessories Oh, how charming, you think to yourself as you fasten your wooden watch. She'll think this is brilliantly quaint, as your right phone, safely encased in a whittled cover, is slipped into your trouser pocket. Wrong. So very wrong. You know how we said that ironic t-shirts aren't for first dates? Well, neither are pretentious accessories that pretend to be from a simpler time. In a situation when everything you do will be overanalyzed, you do not want to carry something that smacks of a desire to escape the present. Ultimately, you don't want to give the impression that after a few months of dating you'll want to run away to the woods to hide from the world and get your whittling on. Just as it pays to keep your clothing paired back, wear only subtle accessories like a minimal watch or simple jewelry in classic colors and metals to avoid that bling why look. Gordon Richardson, Topman Creative. <laughs>